Manchester Boston Regional Airport to pick up my girlfriend after her flight. Uh, the flight was uh, delayed once and I left, uh, came back about an hour and a half later uh, and I waited. Uh, I was eventually asked to either park or um, leave the area. So I ended up parking in the pay parking which was you know two dollars for half an hour. And I came back and went inside the airport, uh, and uh, the flight was delayed again another 30 minutes. And finally, the flight arrived, and uh, I found Roslyn. Um, and then we waited a little bit longer for the baggage. It seemed to take longer than it should have. So we finally left, and I went to the parking lot to leave. And uh, I rolled up to the exit, um, and. I rolled down the window and informed the attendant there that I didn't uh, wish to pay the $4 fee uh, for the hour that I was there. And uh, the lady there uh, asked me what. I tried to explain it again. They said uh, the service was terrible. Uh, I don't feel that I should have to pay this $4 fee. Uh, she said what again, uh, interrupting me. And I tried to explain it again. and. She consistently interrupted me. She said what, you know, again, and I tried to explain it, and she was unwilling to listen to what I was saying. And she basically said, if you don't pay the fee, then we're going to call the police. At that point, I informed her that I didn't believe she needed to call the police, and I considered that a threat of violence. And she was shocked by what I said, and she consistently became more angry and more interruptive and I asked her for a pen, she gave me one, and uh, I pulled out a piece of paper and I asked her what her name was. Uh, she refused to tell me her name, she uh, seemed really angry that I asked for her name and, and said why, and indicated that she wasn't willing to. At that point, I asked her to speak to her supervisor. A few minutes later, the supervisor came to the window and uh, I acknowledged him and I, and I explained to him what I told her before, that. Um, that the service was terrible and I didn't wish to pay the fee and he immediately interrupted me before I could finish explaining that she had been hostile to me and really rude and his behavior followed the pattern of hers. He was uh, interruptive, he wouldn't let me speak and before I could say a few words he uh, reiterated her threat of calling the police if I didn't pay the fee. and. Uh, Overall, both of them were very angry at me, and I don't really know why, but I certainly didn't provoke it. I was kind to them throughout the experience. Um, I eventually got out of my car, and I talked to him some more, and at this point it got really heated. I lost some control of myself. I was very angry, but it kept it civil for the most part. Uh, then another driver went through a different lane at the exit, and I got in my truck, and. I went out to leave through that exit where it was still open and the driver of that car uh, sat there and blocked me from leaving so I got out of my car once again and I went up to him and his windows rolled down so I said, uh, I don't want to argue with you sir but uh, I'd like to leave and now uh, you're blocking me and he said that the airline people the parking people uh, asked him to stay there to prohibit me from leaving and I told him that first they were threatening me with violence and now that he is essentially using force to prohibit me from uh, willingly leaving and he said I'm not going to argue with you and that was the end of the exchange and I went back to my truck where the supervisor was behind my truck writing down the license plate number and uh, I noticed that he, the man in the car had left, so I got in my truck and I left, and th that's basically the end of the, uh, the incident. Well, I felt really terrible because, you know, I had a valid concern and I just wanted to communicate it at the very least. You know, I wasn't opposed to paying the fee if that's what it came down to, but I believe I was denied the ability to voice my concerns and, you know, uh, seek accountability when I felt that 
as a customer, my needs weren't being satisfied. Instead, I was basically uh, shut down, you know, twice by people that, you know, were supposed to be providing a service. And not only that, the supervisor told me I was out of control when I told him that I believed that they were threatening me with violence when they said they would call the police. And I felt that was very hypocritical since his attitude from the start was to just make assumptions about us and then um, deny us the ability to, to respond. For one reason or another, those two individuals um, were acting really hostile and making assumptions about people rather than trying to communicate and de-escalate and resolve problems. Um, and I, I felt like it was uh, really unnecessary to, to threaten to call the police before even attempting to have a dialogue about it. I would have even paid the $4 fee if I were given the opportunity to explain my thoughts and had the uh, people there also explained that they had no choice but to charge the fee. I, I believe I would have paid the fee and, and left, but you know the incident took far longer than it had to, and basically my rights were violated. I don't see how one could deny that fact when, when I was basically held against my will uh, by people that were literally claiming to call the police on me and, and basically had me arrested, you know, for not paying a fee. And I explained to them that I never consented or verbally agreed to any such fee, and uh, they, they wouldn't let me.